Hey guys, we are here today with Denise Abarca with No Home Loans to discuss the recent interest rate increase. Denise, welcome. Can you give us a scoop of what's going on with the mortgage interest rates, please? Well, last year the Fed stated that they would scale back the purchasing of mortgage-backed security going into the new year. This means that interest rates are going to start increasing, which we've already started seeing 2022. Yeah, and this is not something that is catching us off guard. We were all anticipating that this would eventually happen. We all know that mortgage interest rates can't stay too low for too long, especially in a pretty much booming economy. Correct, but the good news is that these rates are still pretty low compared to historic trends, and there are plenty of great programs available to help clients purchase at home. In addition, both FHA and conforming loan limits have increased, allowing buyers to increase their purchasing power to purchase a home. Now, there's still many people who are on the fence about purchasing a home in this market and have decided to wait it out. Denise, can you give us an idea of what waiting to purchase a home may look like if the rates continue to rise? Okay, so an example, the single family average price here in Arizona is $450,000. The payment scenario for a borrower with a 720 mid score, 10% down payment would be a 3.5 interest rate, a payment of $1,800 for principal and interest. Now, according to all the reputable sources and market information, we are predicting home prices will likely continue to rise this year. At the current appreciation rate, the same home may cost you $500,000 next year. The same buyer will now have an estimated payment of $2,280 principal and interest. That's a difference of $462 a month, which comes out to $5,544 a year and a total of $166,320 over the cost of a 30-year mortgage loan. Well, thank you, Denise, for the information. Once we break it like that, we can see how a big difference it is if you wait to buy. Correct, and not to mention the fact that many buyers will no longer qualify for the same house that they wanna buy. So if you're thinking about buying, selling, or refinancing your current home, get in contact with us as soon as possible so we can go over all of your options. Thanks for having me, and thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.